So I'm in New Zealand at the moment and uh, I was driving around this afternoon looking for a good spot to do a sunset video and uh, found a place called uh, Prince's Drive in uh, Nelson, New Zealand, which looks down over the bay and also uh, Nelson Airport. It's just coincidental that it's uh, Prince's Drive, which um, the sunset videos I've done in Perth was uh, from Prince's Street. So that's just a, a neat coincidence. But anyway, there's New Zealand. I'll just zoom in and uh, we'll verify the exact location. Okay, now where I selected is actually just down here. There's a, um, a little lookout and there's a water tower, which you can see here. Now the lookout's just here. So if we just grab our street view man and we'll pan around and you'll see this is going to be exactly the location I'll be using later. Okay, there's like an access path with a gate which shows the um, water tower. And then if we look on the opposite side, we're looking down across the bay and there's Nelson Airport down there. You can see the airport runway. And if we just come this way a little bit, other way, and pan back, you can actually see it says uh, Tasman Heights. So I'm going to verify that location and it's uh, Wednesday the 28th of December. I'll get a uh, newspaper just to verify that time. But if we come into Suncalc, and I've just marked that same location right near those water towers. And right on sunset, the azimuth of the um, sun is going to be 238 degrees, 0.27. Okay. And the latitude it's quite a way south down here it's a uh, 41 degrees 17 minutes 28 seconds so uh, it's quite a, f a bit further south than uh, my sunset videos in uh, Perth and uh, Sydney Australia so we're going to get a more extreme angle and it's also happening later at night it's close to uh, 9 p.m. because the days are longer down here due to being at a further south latitude and looking on Google Earth Pro I've just marked in the line at 238.2 degrees from that location. And what we should see is that it's going to go clearly left of Nelson Airport. Okay, there's the airport. And it's just going to cut across that part of the bay. Alright, so we'll see that when we, uh, when we view the sunset from this location, it should be well left of the runway at Nelson Airport and that's going to confirm that it's also setting well south of due west in uh, New Zealand this time of the year. So there's the uh, local newspaper, the Nelson Mail, confirming that it's uh, Wednesday December 28th and if we just access this hidden menu in the GPS unit, this is just the Garmin GPS, you'll see it shows the uh, satellites being detected, the Latin long the azimuth uh, display of the satellite positions and also the sun. Now, uh, basically north is directly up, so to the left is due west and the sun is setting south of due west. You'll see it shows the uh, sun position quite clearly. As we identified with uh, Google Earth, looking out there across the bay, we've got the sun clearly setting to the left of Nelson Airport. And I'll just try and zoom in on the, uh, the runway there. Okay, there is one threshold, and the other threshold is down there, and you can see the sun is well to the left of that. Okay, so that's confirming what we saw on uh, Google Maps and Google Earth, and on uh, SunCalc. We'll just pan around to verify the location. There's the gate, there's the water tower. And there's uh, Tasman Heights, as we saw in the uh, Google Earth.
Now we're uh, 41 degrees south latitude here and uh, as you can see the sun is setting well south more than 30 degrees south of due west. Once again this geometry confirms what you would expect on a globe and contradicts completely what you would expect on a flat earth if the sun was doing circles around the Tropic of Capricorn right now. There's no way you could see the sun this far south of due west if the sun was doing circles above a flat earth circling around the Tropic of Capricorn. It would be more up in this direction being uh, northwest.